Hello, it's Elder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and review this armor plate made by a company called Defender Armor. Now, this is an awesome plate with uh, all sorts of key features that I will get into in this review. But before I do, I just wanted to make a note of uh, that it really is a shame that we have to worry about carrying items like this on our person uh, for ourselves, for our loved ones, for our children. But uh, unfortunately, all you have to do is turn on the news, uh, see what's going on in the world today, and uh, ask yourself, do you want to be fully prepared uh, to the fullest extent, or do you want to take your chances? I'm sure by you watching this review, uh, you're uh, pretty much just like me, and you choose to be prepared. So let's go ahead and get into this review. Now this Defender plate here is actually designed to go inside of backpacks. It's uh, rated for handguns. Hopefully you can see the specs on here, which will have everything. Its size is uh, 9.5 by 12.5 inches. Uh, and it also is uh, rated for a uh, 357 SIG, full metal jacket, and a 44 mag uh, hollow point. So keep that in mind. This has been tested. I'll actually put a link to the video on uh, Defender Armor's site showing them uh, basically shooting off uh, a couple magazines into this specific uh, armor plate. And uh, you could go ahead and check out the findings. Obviously, they were uh, pretty good. I do a lot of traveling teaching the uh, NTC method around the world. And uh, those of you that have been following me realize that I always travel with my uh, GORUCK ECHO backpack. I just like the size, I like the portability, and of course I love keeping something that's pretty much TSA approved, where I can go ahead, grab it last minute's notice, uh, throw a couple little vitals in there like headphones or something that I might not have in there, and the rest of it is packed, good to go, uh, it'll go through customs, go through uh, TSA, and of course, once I get over to the other countries, I'm pretty much good to go over there. So what I, the reason why I chose this specific um, size and uh, specs on this armor plate is because it fits perfectly into my travel bag. So keep that in mind. There's all sorts of different sizes, uh, all sorts of different um, ratings, uh, such as rifles, so on and so forth. But for me, the price point was good on this. And once again, the fact that I could fit, uh, fit it into my uh, travel bag that's always with me in places where I... Uh, quote unquote, need to be disarmed, whether it's in the Middle East, whether it's in Europe, whether it's in New York City, whether it's places in New Jersey. So of course we try to be, strive to be as prepared as we can. And uh, items such as this definitely lead the way uh, when it comes to our uh, level of preparedness. Now these plates are designed and made in the USA. Uh, they're independently tested by certified labs. Uh, the material that it's at, uh, actually made of is a patented, you know, pretty high speed, uh, polyethylene material. Uh, it's designed for multi-hit, so uh, obviously I mentioned that earlier with the uh, video that I'll lead you to in my blog post, so make sure you check out the blog post for a lot more specs and uh, details on this uh, specific plate and other plates made by Defender Armor. Uh, it's tested at muscle, muzzle velocity, all right, so nobody's sitting back a mile taking a shot and saying that it's, uh, you know, uh, round-proof, bulletproof, so on and so forth, so right at muzzle velocity, uh, which really makes it good to go. And it has uh, trauma reducing technology in it. Uh, the next thing would be the weight. It weighs in at just over a pound. All right, so it's just ridiculous. I mean, you put this in your hand and you think you're holding nothing or, you know, that somebody just handed you a piece of uh, styrofoam. So uh, as far as weight, you can't get much better. Uh, durability, super well made, uh, high speed material, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, and the price point. Uh, price point, I had ended up picking this up at a shop armsco.com. Once again, I'll put the link in the blog post. I was able to get it right away because they had it in stock. Uh, but the price point is anywhere between $150 to $175. So once again, what you're getting out of this and the peace of mind, and uh, as I usually state, an extra insurance policy, um, it's well worth the, uh, the investment. This is something that you should definitely take a look at. Uh, the specs are very good to go, as I mentioned, and uh, I really don't think you'll be disappointed. And it's made in the USA. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you enjoyed this review.